does your body define who you are as a person? You know, I used to be so insecure and deal with a lot of stuff when I was skinny. And I thought that, you know, gaining muscle, getting bigger would just solve all those problems, right? And did it? Well, I'm diving into that in today's episode. So strap in, get ready for episode 237. Let's go. The future of fitness. How do you gain muscle mass? Fitness is not complicated. It's simple when you break it down. There's so much information out there. No fads, no diets, just plain simple habits. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk podcast. Hey, welcome to today's episode. My name is Brian Parody, and I will be your host today. And if this is your first time tuning in, welcome to this show. I am so glad you are here. This is going to be a really good episode. But before we dive into it, if you've not checked out the new monthly subscription program that I'm offering, definitely head on over and check it out. It is patreon.com forward slash bones to bulk, and I'll have that linked in the show notes. But basically, I'm offering you a chance to really connect with me on a more one-on-one level. We will do live workouts together. We will do live calls together. And I even have a tier where we can do a personal one-on-one call. So definitely head on over there, check out the different options. And I would just, again, love to connect with you on a deeper level. Without further ado, let's dive in. So when it comes to, you know, your self-worth, a lot of times we can wrap it up in our image. You know, if, you know, only we get to this certain weight or this certain size or whatever, then our problems will go away, right? Well, not exactly. You know, gaining muscle, getting fit is cool. And (laughs) like, I'm not gonna lie, like I, it's, definitely changed my life in a lot of regards. But one area it has not changed is who I am as a person. And I think sometimes we we think, well, we've got to become someone else. And that's not really it. We can always become better versions of ourselves and improve in different areas of life. But the end all goal isn't just to get in a certain kind of shape. It's not. That's one element of thousands of things in life. You know, I want to be healthy. I want to, you know, be able to keep up with my kids and grandkids and live a long, healthy life. So it is an important element. But, you know, I could be jacked and ripped and be an a-hole, and I'm not really succeeding in life, am I? So I I just kind of want to, you know, point out in this episode that there's not this elusive, once I gain muscle, all my problems are solved. We are a very dimensional being. We have thoughts and emotions, and there's a lot of elements to our lives from work to family to friends to you know, relationships and mental health and just a myriad of different things we have to go through on a daily basis, right? So it would be pretty naive to say that physical fitness is going to solve all of our problems. I, I think that when we're dealing with things and we're trying to work through things, that it can be a catalyst. You know, when we start getting in shape physically, it can propel us to then start getting other areas in order, maybe our finances or maybe our mental health. And so it can get that ball rolling, but it's not an end all. And I don't want you to think that, you know, and I know that I primarily talk about fitness. However, there's just so much more out there because, you know, even the most successful bodybuilders, the most jacked people in the world. What benefit is that if they are not developing other areas in their life? And this is true for me too. Like, like I said earlier, you know, if I'm an asshole to everybody, that's not really, I, I'm, I'm getting nowhere in life. You know what I mean? Sometimes we can wrap our self worth in our physical demeanor. You know, if I have a six pack, then my self worth goes up. Does it really, does that really change things? Because I guarantee you there's a lot of people with rocking bodies out there that are really in unhappy places because it's not like we just change the outward and magically the inward changes. It just doesn't work that way. I wish it did. (laughs) It'd be easier, but we've got to work on our inner beings. We've got to take the time out for ourselves and evaluate and ask questions and really listen to others and find out where others are coming from because we can get so caught up and wrapped up in our own problems and our own issues. And I'm not saying that they're not valid and that we need to be dealing with them, but we forget that there's a great big world out there that is also struggling and going through things. 
You know, a, a few weeks ago, I woke up to quite a few nasty messages on TikTok. And, you know, it's nothing new ever since I started in the online space. You 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 get, you know, the bad with the good. And I'm not going to lie, most of it is good, you know, 85%. But there is that 10 to 15% that is just negativity thrown at you. And that's just part of what comes from throwing yourself out there. You know, when you put yourself out there in, in the online space, you're naturally going to get hate. It's just the way it is. And people will say, oh, well, yeah, it's because it's social media. That's because it's the internet. No, it's not. You know, back in the day, if someone was an asshole, the only way you knew that was if you actually came face to face with them and had a conversation with them or interacted with them, right? Now we have this awesome tool of the internet that connects us and allows us to do so many amazing things, but it also gives contact to those people. They have a voice now to where you know you don't have to just interact with them in person. You can just interact with them online. So nothing has changed in that regard. It's just we have access to a much larger audience. We have access to meeting many more people than we would uh, you know, back in the day before internet. So I don't want you to confuse this with like, oh, well, you know, that's what you get for putting yourself out there online. No, it is just part of it. But my point is, I got a lot of hate and it was just more, a little bit more than normal that morning. And, you know, my initial thought was, wow, well, this sucks. And, you know, I started getting defensive and then I, then I stopped and thought about it. And I was like, you know, what's going on in their life? You know, what are they dealing with? Maybe they're going through a relationship breakup. Maybe they lost their job. Maybe they're struggling during these times. Like, I don't know what's going on in their life. And somebody, you know, sitting behind a, a keyboard, a phone, saying something nasty, it's usually just an outpouring of the inward that's going on in their lives. And so I, I responded to all of it in a positive manner. And one of the people actually ended up deleting their comments. So I don't know whether it was the positive comment or they realized like, hey, that probably wasn't the nicest thing to say. I'm gonna go back and delete that, whatever it was. And the point is if I had engaged in that and come back hateful, there would have been no allowance for any thought after that. You know what I mean? Then it's just who can attack the most. And I feel like in life in general, we really get into this debate mindset that everything has to be debated. And if somebody disagrees with me, uh, you know, I can't allow that because then then I'm wrong. So what? Like we're probably wrong, myself very much included, on a lot of things, on a lot of things. I don't have everything figured out. Nobody has everything figured out. And if anybody pretends that they do, you probably need to run. Just like shut the door and take off running <laughs> in all honesty, because, you know, we need to be lifelong learners. And I'm not just talking about in fitness. I truly believe that, you know, nobody has this where they have it all figured out in fitness and nobody has it all figured out in any part of life. Some people are further ahead than others because they've been through experiences that have kind of taught them, but nobody's got it figured out. And so we can't just sit here in our little bubbles and think to ourselves, they're wrong because they think this and they think that. No, they're not. And it also doesn't make us wrong if we listen to these arguments and we question our own motives. I think, you know, when we get in a debate, when we hear something or see something that just goes against everything we believe, we immediately have this defense come up that says, oh no, that can't be right because if that's right, I'm wrong. Well, no, that not necessarily at all. Sure, we may be wrong sometimes, but often... Maybe it's just a different perspective of looking at something. So we've got to take into consideration this. We've got to look at things from different angles. We've got to be willing to set down the pride, set down the ego. You know, I always talk about leaving the ego at the door when you walk in the gym. Leave the ego in the drawer at home. When you log online, leave the ego somewhere else because we don't need it. No reason for it. We can learn from each other. We can help each other grow. We can help each other become better people. I truly 100% believe that. And are you going to run into assholes sometimes? Of course. There's absolutely nothing you can do about that except for how you respond to them. Don't give in. Don't attack back because that just leads both parties feeling really hurt. Now, I'm not saying you have to, you know, just allow them to walk all over you and say whatever they want, but lay a clear boundary if you need to and just walk away and say, have a good day. I hope you really have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Whatever it is. So I hope this helps. I hope it encourages you. I know there's just so much negativity towards, you know, the online space, but there's also a lot of positivity. I see so many amazing people doing amazing things, and it really encourages me because I'm excited for what's to come in the future. 
All right, if you found this helpful, hit me up anywhere online. I am everywhere at Bones to Bulk, IG, TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook, you name it. I've got a great Facebook group. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Bones to Bulk. Find me somewhere. Send me a message. I would love to connect with you. All right, with that being said, remember, no matter what you're facing, what you're coming up against, take the time maybe to listen to offer the benefit of the doubt, but just remember that you can accomplish any goal that you set your mind to. God.